All right, uh, it's a module of the day. Um, I found this board on AliExpress. I, I, I've covered these uh, uh, oven controlled oscillators before. They're really good and they're really cheap, but I found one on a board for a dumb price. It was like, uh, I don't know, $7 or something. Uh, I think it was less than $7 anyway. Uh, yeah, it comes on a board, uh, comes with a, a voltage regulator here. So you, you can input uh, between anything more than seven volts because it's a five volt regulator and that powers up the powers up the device there's also a uh, another chip in here that's a voltage reference that's used to set the uh, offset in the oscillator so you can fine-tune the thing with this uh, with this resistor it outputs a, uh, a sine wave and it outputs a uh, a TTL level uh, so we'll look at both of those but uh, I say let's draw the schematic and see how this uh, how this thing functions. All right, I drew out a schematic for this thing, so let's 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 take a look here. Uh, zoom in a little bit. Take a look at each section. Um, so the power comes in here, diode protected, gets filtered. Actually goes through a uh, 100 microfarad inductor, micro, 100 microfarad. It's a nice nice Pi filtering there. Another a little small capacitor. Then it goes into something like a 7805. Um, gets regulated to five volts. That gets buffered with a couple, you know, a, a big capacitor, a little capacitor. Um, an LED lights up if you have power, and then you generate a five volts. Now you also want to generate another voltage, so that five volts gets uh, gets uh, filtered a bit. Um, but it's really part of a, a Zener diode circuit. So this is the uh, current limiting resistor into the uh, Zener diode. Now, this is a 2.5 volt Zener diode, but it's not really a Zener diode. It's actually a fancy part. It's a uh, LT1009. So it's a programmable part. There's actually a third pin on it where you can adjust the uh, voltage of this thing. And that's just not being used here. It's just being left open and then it defaults to two and a half. So you're generating two and a half volts here. Okay, so then you divide that two and a half down to a smaller voltage. And then you send that to the um, oscillator. So it gets filtered as well, but it gets sent to the oscillator. So the oscillator has power and ground and it also has a control voltage, which is this, we'll call it VC, voltage controlled. And the control voltage then can wiggle, or not wiggle, but can pull the oscillator up or down in frequency a little bit. So this voltage uh, is used to fine tune that 10 megahertz of the oscillator. But you need this to be adjustable. So you could say, oh, I'll, just, I'll just put in a, uh, I'll just put in a potentiometer here and pull that off and I'll be done with it. But they wanted, to, to be very, very small action for lots of turns. And so what they did was they had this resistor and this resistor. So this one uh, pulls up, this one pulls down, a re resistor divider. Then they added extra pull down. And so this is the extra pull down circuit that has a, a potentiometer on it. And it's actually filtered as well. Kind of a weird little circuit, but this one allows you to pull it down a little bit more. So on my device, if you, uh, turned it all the way clockwise, you got uh, this voltage, uh, 1.977 on VC. And if you did it all the way around, you got it uh, 2.161. And then the output voltage is swang between, swang, is that right? Yeah, I guess they, swang is the path. Anyway, <laughs> it went from 9.81 to 9.9. Almost, it almost got to 10. It almost got to 10, but it didn't get there on my device. It, it needed a little, little bit more voltage to get to 10. And um, we'll, we'll talk about that a little later, but let, let's hook it up and take a look at it. All right, and here's the output part of the, uh, of the PC board. Uh, the five volt comes in, it gets uh, filtered a couple times and powers, uh, powers this thing up at five volts and ground. There's also that VC, remember this is our VC, our control voltage. And then the output uh, comes out as a TTL signal. Um, but then it also goes through a, a, a filter and that filter, so 
a square wave has a bunch of harmonics and this filter removes all the harmonics except for the fundamental the very first one the first harmonic and you get a sine wave if you if you get rid of all the other harmonics out of a, a square wave uh, it gets turned into a sine wave so that that's how they do that all right uh, so I have it uh, hooked up to channels one and two and you can see that we have the uh, sine wave here and the TTL output there. So we get this nice sine wave at uh, 10 megahertz here. But the TTL is really roundy and weird looking. And if I look at the top, it goes up to, let's see here, 3.3, uh, 3.88 volts. That's an okay high, but the low only goes to 1.22 volts. So it's not really TTL compatible. Uh, you could probably run into a CMOS part maybe, but yeah, it's not TTL compatible. It's just kind of weird, kind of weird looking. You could probably put a resistor in there and pull it down some more, but anyway, it is kind of odd. And that's, that's what it is. You can see here that I have uh, adjusted it. So it exact is exactly 10 volts now. And like, like I said before, I wasn't able to adjust it when I first got it. So let me show you how I fixed it. All right. Uh, so I talked about I wasn't able to get to 10 megahertz. I needed to have a little bit more voltage. So I took a look at the circuit and I thought about reducing the pull down. That would let me go higher. I could also just make this uh, capacitor, this resistor, I mean, a little bit different and let it pull up a little harder. So that's what I did. Uh, this R2 was a 5K and I, and I changed it to a 3.3K. All right. Your, your board may vary, but that's what I had to do on my board. Um, I moved it to a 3.3K resistor and then I was able to get to 10, 10 megahertz. Exactly. We'll, we'll take a look at that. All right, so R2 lives right, right here. You'll, you, it's marked R2, and I removed, I removed the 5K and replaced it with a 3.3K, and uh, that fixed my board. If you wanted, if you want to do that mod, or if you need to do that mod. All right, uh, so I have the uh, the new 3.3K uh, resistor in here. And uh, I adjusted the uh, voltage, uh, and here's what we get. Uh, it does bounce around a tiny bit, uh, but it's between, uh, you know, anyway, it's really good. <laughs> you can see that it's really good. Uh, but it seems very, it seems quite stable now. All right, well, there you go. Uh, I think these things were about seven bucks or something on AliExpress. I just wanted to see uh, see what the circuit was and see if uh, see if it works or not. And yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty good deal.